Hey, it's Brian, and thank you so much for joining me for another installment of There You Go with Brian. Today we are back for part two of exploring the Ravenswood Farmer's Market. They've got all sorts of cool stuff here that we didn't get a chance to check out last time, so let's do it now. Here you go. This is Maggie. Hi, Maggie. I think there's a treat over there with your name on it. Maggie's coming to the Ravenswood Farmer's Market this week. Go, Maggie. <laughs> I've never seen someone just stop and get right here. Here, here you go. Aww. Thanks for coming to the market, Maggie. Thank you. <laughs> what would any farmer's market be without a jumpy house? I think that's the technical name for it, isn't it? The jumpy house? really a fabulous local artist and he's going to be actually doing a piece live while people are here and it's really quite amazing to watch him work it's uh, it's just fabulous to see his art come together in real time and here we have some wonderful offerings from a company called journey we've got some very nice candles here some soap these are all handmade and then when we get over to this side of the table, this is for Numota. We've got some beautiful head wrap. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So nice. This is all handmade by Mosala. I thought that was ours. I was like, what? No, no. <laughs> This is my new friend Karen. Hi, Hi Karen. Hi. We were talking earlier. She specializes in stuff that's made with love. Yes. My God, organic vinegars. Now, is vinegar, are there more calories when you make it with love? Zero calories in vinegar. No. Zero calories, zero salt, zero sugar, okay. zero chemicals. It's all healthy for you. Wow, look at all of these. And if you're fasting, it helps to continue your fast. You will not break your fast with vinegar. So you've got sunflower, citrus, peppers, and peach, bananas, pepper, mango, lime. My God, so do people cook with these? Do they just take them just They can cook with shop? them. We, we specialize in giving people multiple flavors uh -huh. um, when they purchase instead of the large 16 ounce bottle of apple cider vinegar that people are used to and it usually just sits in their refrigerator. Uh -huh. So here you get to pick different vinegars for different applications of cooking or use. Fruity vinegars, a salad with fruit. Uh -huh. Savory vinegars for a salad that has protein, tofu, or if you're marinating something, because it has herbs, peppers, spices Oh my, in turn them. it over. Let me see that again. Oh my God. So that's peaches and peppers. Look at that. And it's not hot at all. This is our mango tahine. Um, Everyone's probably familiar with tahini. It has a lot of salt, but this doesn't. This is just mango, lime, and uh, cayenne. We have vinegars for people who are practicing abstinence from alcohol. So you have mocktails. So you can take your sparkling water and make yourself a mocktail, which is also called a shrub or sugar free kombucha. Wow. And for the hot sauce lovers, hot sauce is loaded with salt and sugar, and a lot of people who eat it probably shouldn't. Uh -huh. Full vinegar because it has no salt and sugar. You get all the same flavors your jalapeno, your habanero, and ghost pepper, and we also make reaper. How long have you been doing this? Ten years. Ten years Ten you've years been doing this. Of making vinegar look, from scratch. Look at these beautiful gift boxes. The cook box. We have a not spicy jerk. I'm, I love jerk, but not a fan of the heat. Uh -huh. So it comes with a bottle of habanero vinegar. And for those who are vegan, uh -huh. you typically can't have um, a, a jerk because it's attached to a protein. So now you can make a jerk vinaigrette. Can people actually reach you online as well? They can. They can reach us online at madewithlovevinegars.com. We have um, all of our products online too, detox. And we have special uh, vinegars for we people over 50. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best people. Yes, we are the best yes, people. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Bye. Ryan. Bye. <laughs>
Dogs are welcome here at the Ravenswood Farmers Market. What's your doggy's name? Butters. Butters? Having a fun time at the Ravenswood Farmers Market. It's original empanoli? Gluten-free sure hand pies? It sure is. And this is? Alex Moncada. Alex. Yes. So this is what I'm looking at. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this, uh, I came out with it uh, a, little over four, a little over four years ago, but I've been doing it for the last two seasons. Oh, I see. Yeah. So uh, tell me what I'm looking at here. Uh, right here we have a variety of empanolis. So we've got uh, the red taro, scrambled egg and potato. We've got the pico de yo beef. Um, and, I, and then there's a chicken underneath. Chicken uh -huh. mole verde. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and then we have a roasted marita salsa here and Mexican sour cream. Wow. Yeah. You came up with all of this yourself? Uh, yeah, it took, it took a while. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I can actually see. So you bring the oven with you and you I can see the steam coming out the back there. What have you got in the oven right now? Right now I have, uh, let's see, I have uh, pinto beans and cheese, ranchero, eggs and potato, and I have apple cinnamon. Oh, that's what I can smell, that apple yeah. cinnamon there. Oh, yeah. so that's your side there. So it's yeah. empanada and ravioli yeah. together. Yeah, Doña Empanada and Don Ravioli met. Uh, there was a little romance. So that's <laughs> Is that what, what that was? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, wow, wow. it smells amazing. Beautiful display. Hey, what is this beautiful card here? This must be the Floor Sauvage Baking Company. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. So it's wildflower in French. That's what that means? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So so now you, you do baking, and these are, uh, tell me, this is the blueberry cake. Yeah, blueberry streusel cake, which is great for breakfast. And oh. then we have the raspberry fringe pan tart, so that's raspberry and almonds. A streusel, that's German, right? Is that right? We're doing like a United Nations thing? <laughs> I, I love I love the display peach pecan muffin. I love the displays with all the beautiful wood. Is there a story to the wood that I'm seeing around here? No, I just wanted everything to look kind of natural. Yeah. So. Oh, it's very nice. Thank you. You chop it down yourself and build these? No. No. no? You didn't do that? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So, oh, and you've got granola here. This is nice. Any sugar in this? No. No. It's sweet with maple syrup. Oh. Now, how long have you been doing this? Is it was Jennifer, right? Right, right. Jennifer right. and Emerson. I know. Zoom in on, zoom in on. There we go. It's Emerson. So, how long have you guys been sisters? Yeah, that's. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Look at that. She gets rosy cheeks when I say that. Oh gosh. So, how long have you been doing this, Jennifer? So this is my second year in business. This is my first year at this market. Mm -hmm. I mainly do the Winneka Farmers Market. Uh huh. So those are the two main markets that I do. So. But this is probably the better market. This is a great market. This is the great one. And you've got, what kind of, this, this is, looks like fancy lemonade. This is not regular lemonade. It's lavender lemonade. Lavender? I've never heard of such a thing. You should come try some. I think I will have to, and I'll have to have it through one of those beautiful uh, paper straws that you've got there. <laughs> those are gorgeous. And what is this over here? Can you see this? We have barbecue rub, and then we have herbs de Provence. Oh. Which is another French thing, so. Wow. Well, that's nice. Well, if you're at the farmer's market, make sure you stop by Fleur Sauvage Baking Company and see these two young ladies. Thank you. Angela. from the Ravenswood Farmers Market in Chicago. Get out of the picture, John, you silly. But uh, <laughs> we're wrapping up, the sun is going down. We're gonna be doing this for another 14 weeks, so make sure that you come on down. You're gonna have a fun time. And uh, as a special little thing, um, I am going to bring the Ravenswood Farmers Market to you. If you're one of my Patreon subscribers, today somebody on my Patreon list is going to get a special treat. Thank you for joining me on There You Go with Brian. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Pay no attention to the goofball behind me. Something old, something new, something for me, something for you. It's a big, big world. Let's check it out.